Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll have a quick look at All Along the Way by Jack White. We do have lots of country riff going throughout the whole song. So I'll be trying to show you guys each and every part of the song. We got the keep on fret 1 for the song. Now we'll have a quick look at the chord sheets firstly. So keep on 3rd fret, first chord is E minor, open 2nd, second, second, open, open, open. Then we got a G, 3, 2, open, 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 3. Then we have a C which is mute, 3, 2, open, 1st, open. Then we have a B7 which is mute, 2nd, 1st, 2nd, open, 2nd. Then we have a A which is mute, open, 2nd, 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 open. A D, mute, mute, open, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd. We have a G sharp, a G flat major chord, which is basically barring the second fret, third fret on the G string, fourth fret on E and D, and also a E major open second second first open open. Throughout the whole song, I'll try to provide you guys with the tabs and all. So this song is a bit tricky if you're a beginner because we have a couple of chord variations over here. So we'll start off with the intro and the verse. Both are same. So it starts like this. So make sure you grab a plectrum and uh, let's get started. The first chord, first chord is an E minor. I have open E string. Then I hit fifth fret on the E string. Then I do a hammer on from open to second to a pull off to open on the D string. So we have. Then I come back and play second fret on the E string. So all put together we got. And then I go to the G major chord, I have 3rd fret on E, 2nd fret on A, rest all open, I hit the E string, A string, E string, and then I do this. I play D, A, E, A, so we have, so I went E, A, E, D, A, E, A, E, A, E, D, A, right? And after that I move on to the C major chord. For the C major chord, I strum the A D string, third fret, second fret. Then I hit the B one, open G, then open E, then B one, then open G, then B one. So we have um, down, 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 down. I'm going down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So, and then I have the B seven chord. I played in a bit different way. I play second fret on E, then one on D, four on D. 1 on D, then 2nd on A. And then I just uh, go back and repeat from the beginning. When you put it all together, the intro and the verse are like this. We do have a bit of variation on this thing when we play the same riff for the outro, which I'll show you guys later on. So we have. Once we finish up with that, we just straight away dive into the chorus and it goes like this. So what I'm doing for the chorus is again, I have a bit of picking stuff over here. I hold the A major chord, I hit the A string, D string, then A string, and then I do this. I play B, G, D. So the pattern works like this. A, D, A, B, G, D. One more time on the A major chord. Then I go to the B major chord and I do the exact same thing. So I have 2nd fret on A, 4th fret on D, G, D with the pinky bar. So I hit the E string 2nd fret. D, 4, A, and then B, G, D. So we have... So we got A. And I quickly go to the G major chord. Instead of going to this open shape, I'll go to the bar shape since we have to move back to the G flat chord. So let's keep the same shape. So we have. I do one damn stroke on the top string, mainly uh, E A D. It's three five five. Then I hit the fourth string on the G string on the up stroke. Then I do the exact same thing on G flat damn stroke, up stroke. So we have. You can even do a bit fast. 
over here, I'm just basically doing RPG, otherwise you can even strum. So we have down, up, G flat, down, up, and then I strum the E minor. Down, down, up, up, down, and repeat. Sorry. Down, down, up, up, down, up, again. You can just literally do any string pattern on the E minor chord. And after that, we have a bit of instrumental over here. We go like this. So what I did over here is basically I do this. I do a slide from five to seven on the E string, then five, then second, then open. Then on the E string third fret, and then I strum the A major chord down, down, up, up, down, then E major down, down, up, up, down. And I like to hammer on the first fret of the G string to focus on the major. So we got. I mean, you can even hit the open E string after you play the third fret on the E string. So we have. to the verse to same thing same thing A chorus to same thing and then we have the instrumental again it will be a bit different the first instrumental is a bit different the second one goes like this so what happens is we play E minor down down up up down up down down up up down then I go to C down down and then a B7 down, down, so we have down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, mute the chord, down, down, keep your palm, mute the chord, so we have. the bridge over here the chord progression will be kind of same to the interlude starts with E minor C B again E minor C B and after that it just goes to the the chorus chord progression so we have A B Once we do that, we're basically ending the bridge. So the whole bridge sounds like this. So what happens for the bridge? Last line we play an E major instead of the minor chord. So you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, so we. Uh, so the last part we had, again I'm playing the last part of the bridge, just notice because it's a bit tricky over here. We had B, go to uh, E major. The second time when you play it, second time you play the E major in place of the E major. So we have a slight change in the chord progression. So one more time. That's the end of the bridge. We have the next uh, interlude, which will be same uh, as the third chorus. So the chord progression will be basically E minor, G, C, B, and this will be going almost till the end of the song. The chord progression is pretty similar to the verse. So basically, the last chorus, which is more of like the outro, is having the same chord progression as that of the verse. So we're trying to play that same riff. What happens for the B chord is there's a small change. Previously we played it like this. 
very simple but right now we'll be basically alternating between the bass note and the D string so it goes like this I'm going A D A B I'm sorry A D1 A D4 A D1 so more, 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 A. so basically just add the E string in the between extra Basically just adding the A string, that's the only thing extra. And that's the whole song guys, uh, that's the whole song in depth. I hope the video helps you out, any doubt please let me know the bridge, again I'm saying E minor, E minor, C, B, again E minor, E minor, C, B, then we have A, A, B, then G, G flat, then again A, then B, then G, G flat and E. And that's it, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and let me know what other song you want to learn. Do drop me one of these, helps the Europe algorithm to promote this video to other people. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.